Hello everyone, I welcome you all to Geek Script. Today I am going to show you how to install the latest version of WAMP that is WAMP version 3.3.5 on Windows operating system. And after that I am also going to show you how you can easily run a simple hello world PHP program with the help of WAMP server. So do watch the video till the end, I can guarantee if you watch the video till the end, you will be learning a lot of new things and if you still face any issues in middle, you can always comment me on, on comment sections, I will definitely going to help you. And I am also on Instagram now, so if you are facing any issues, you can also send your screenshots with all your doubts and you can ask me over there, I will definitely going to help you. So now to install WAM server, you need to first simply go to private browser and then you need to search over here, WAM server download and hit enter so that's going to show you this sourceforce.net so you need to click on this wham server download so this link i'm going to provide right in our description so once you are here you will see we have this download button all right so you need to click on this download link and immediately you will see that our download will get started shortly and you can see that it is rightly started downloading our latest version of WAM server version 3.3.5 all right so i have already downloaded it so i'll cancel this i'll minimize my browser i'll go to my download directory and here you can see that same WAM server version 3.3.5 is already been downloaded over here and the file size is 327 mb so to install you need to just simply double click on the installer and it's going to ask you for administrative privileges just simply click on yes and there you go so our XAMPP installation wizard is rightly open. First it is asking to select one language. So first minimize our download directory. And here I need to select one language. So there are just two options. I will select English and click on OK. And this is a license agreement. You can always read this. You can accept this license agreement and click on Next. So these are all installations, you know, guide it is written. You can always read this, click on Next. And you can see that it is giving some error. So all these different Visual C++ packages are not installed. You can see Visual C++ 2012, 2010, again 2012 of x64, then 2012 of x86. All these different versions are not installed. So that's why it is giving this error. Don't worry, I'm going to show you all of that now. So first you need to go to this VAM server.avrtechno.net just go to your browser again and open a new tab and just simply type WAMP server AVR Techno hit enter and you will see this avrtechno.net WAMP server so just so go to that link so again this link I am going to provide it right in your description so here you need to scroll down and you will see that all these visual C++ redistributable packages are available to download so from here you see what error message it is showing. So it is showing that Visual C++ 2012 x86. So this is the one Visual C++ 2012 x86. Just simply click on that and that exe will get downloaded. Similarly and the next error is this Visual C++ 2010 SP1 of x64. So here you can see this is the one so Visual C++ 2010 SP1 x64 so click on that and that package will also get downloaded. Next is uh, again 2012 x64 so 2012 x64 this one so click on that and that package will also get downloaded. So all these three packages is what you need to install now. So first you know, click on OK and click on Cancel. So we need to first install those packages. Just go to your download directory. So these are all packages that what you need to install one by one. So just simply uh, uh, proceed with the first one 2012. Accept the license agreement. Click on Install. It will ask you for administrative privileges. Click on Yes and uh, there you go. Setup is successful. Similarly do the next one. Click on Yes. Accept the license agreement, click on install and it is done now. Similarly install 2012 as well. Accept the license agreement, click on install, ask you for administrative privileges, click on yes 
and setup is successful right so all these different you know visual c plus plus packages are now rightly installed let's proceed with installing our wham sub all over again so choose the language minimize download directory accept the license agreement click on next click on next and now you can see it is no longer throwing any error because we have all the dependencies now already installed on our system so now we are good to go to install our wham server right so just you know simply click on next over here so ready to be installed you can see it is rightly started installing our wham server so you now uh, let's wait for a couple of minutes so i'll request you do subscribe our geeky syntax channel as well so here also regularly i'm posting lot of coding related videos so do subscribe our geeky syntax channel along with geeky script vlogging channel so here let's wait for a couple of minutes so welcome back and now you can clearly see that our wam server is almost installed it is telling which browser you want to use so by default it is selected edge you can you know choose any of the browser so it is asking do you want to choose another browser installed on your system so if you want to go with edge you can just simply click on no or else if you want to choose some different browser like chrome maybe then you can click on yes so i'll use edge so i'll click on no next it will ask what text editor you want to use so if you want to use notepad you can select notepad or you can select no also i'll select no and it is rightly done so just simply click on next now so our wam server 3.3.5 is rightly installed click on finish so you can see that our wam server is rightly installed and also desktop shortcut is created over here so all you need to do is you need to just simply double click on this desktop shortcut it will again ask you for administrative privileges click on yes and it's going to start your WAMP server. So you can see start of WAMP services. So you will see on this tray icon, you will see that our WAMP was red first initially, then it turns into yellow and now it's turned into green. All right. So now let's create a hello world project. So just simply go to your C drive, go to WAMP server, WAMP 64 folder you will see on your C drive. Just simply go inside that folder and then you will see www folder on our WAMP64 folder directory and here you will see we have a www folder that's a very important folder so whichever projects you are creating should reside inside the www folder all right so any php projects you are creating should be inside this www folder so just right click and hover over new and click on folder and let's create a hello world php project all right so just simply go inside that folder and now let's go to search and just simply type notepad and let's open one notepad and here we are going to write one sample php code snippet so just give angular back it and uh, write php tag close the tag and within our php tag let's echo something called hello world all right so just simply end the quotation and give a semicolon and now let's go to file and click on save as and uh, let's go to our uh, you know c drive and within c drive we have wam 64 folder remember we have created that then we have this www folder go inside that folder and here you will see the project that you have created hello hello world PHP project so the same project you'll see go inside that project and let's you know save this file as hello dot php and just simply click on the save as type to all file type and click on save and you can see that our file is rightly saved over here so it is properly coming hello.php over here so file is rightly saved and now all you need to do is you need to go to a directory back and then you need to copy this folder name just copy that folder name and now you go to your browser just go to a new tab and type localhost then give a slash and then just simply paste that folder name so localhost slash hello world PHP project whatever folder name you have given that same exact you know spelling is what you need to type it over here and hit enter and immediately you will see that this hello.php file that you have created is showing 
under parent directory so if you go inside that folder you'll see hello.pg file so that same file will show under parent directory on browser itself so if you click on this hello.php and immediately you'll see the output properly coming on our browser itself right so whatever code you are writing and whatever output it's supposed to show so it that hello world is properly showing on our browser right so in this way you can easily install vam server and you can start working on your php projects that probably you have got from your school or college right so that is basically all about this video please do consider subscribing our geeky syntax channel along with geeky script blogging channel that going to really motivate me to make more and more this kind of videos so that is basically all about this video friends thank you very much for watching this video and god bless you all